Hello guys and welcome back to another Two Ordinary Guys video. Um, good morning, I hope you have an amazing day today. Um, I don't know what episode this is for the student vlog series, but today is the 20... Um, two seconds. <laughs> it's the 26th of March and it's Monday. Um, it's 25 to 7 in the morning um, and look how bright it is so really bright today really nice I'm actually quite awake now because normally when I'm awake at this time it's still pitch black um, I've got work today at the care home um, I'm on middle floor today which is like um, if you don't know from the other videos I have three floors um, Middle floor is the most challenging of the dementia. Um, so today should be good. I had administrative medication at the care home as well, um, which is really good experience for what I want to go and study at university. If you don't know, I want to be a paramedic. Those that don't know, those that are following me on the journey, you guys all know. I'm going to put how many days it is to university now. That's how many days it is until I go to university. Uh, and throughout the vlogs, I'm going to count down through there. Um, each vlog, I'm going to count down how many days it is to university. Hang on two seconds. Sorry, I thought that was one of my um, work colleagues. Because one of my work colleagues said they're going to pick me up. But they're not around anywhere. So, don't mind. Um, so, yeah. Hey, have a good day. I'll check in later. See how my shift went. And then I'm going to tell you what I've got planned for t later on and then tomorrow because I've got a lot of things planned that I need to do, like applying for student finance, I need to do that. Um, what else do I need to do? Um, apply for a new passport because I'm going on holiday and my passport runs out in May. And I need to do a couple more pass papers for my exam in April. So a lot of things planned and a lot of things I need to do. So have a good day. And I'll, join, I'll see you later on. Obviously, that'll be a lot quicker for you. I've got to do a seven hour shift, but yeah. I'll see you in a bit. Have a good day. Go grab a cup of tea in the meantime. Pause it now. And I'll see you later. So, quick update. My work colleague is running a bit late. She's just rang me and said that she's running a bit late and I she's going to come at 25 past seven. Um, so it's like 10 to seven now. I start work at quarter to eight, so it's not a problem. I'm going to walk back to mine because obviously she's going to pick me up from mine. So I'm going to go and have another cup of tea and sit in the warm. And wait for her at my house to pick me up and then take me up to work. So it's good. that's good. Well, I can't complain about that really. Um, but yeah, i going to go back in the warm, wait for my work colleague, and then I will start work. So, see you in a bit. Hello guys, it is now five o'clock. Um, today was kind of a stressful, hard, emotional shift for some. Um, one of the residents are on end of life care, obviously. It's expected when they pass away on end of life care, but it's not the passing that's upsetting, it's the ripple effect it has on the family and all that sort of stuff. Um, so it's hard, it's hard to deal with that situation. So, you know, you just have to deal with it as best as you can, really. Um, so obviously that was hard, really stressful shift. Um, but obviously it's my grandma's birthday today. My, my great grandma, um, she's still alive. She's 87 today. So I've been around her house. Uh, wish you a happy birthday, bless her. Uh, she's just been into town, she's like really mobile for how old she is and I think it's amazing <laughs> She's how mobile she is so went around there and that's my way of dealing with my coping mechanism people have diff different ways of dealing with situations like reading or going jogging I like doing all them things but really for me dealing with them situations I like to go and spend it with my family and just you know opening up to people like this um, so yeah, I could go into de massive detail about it, but I'm not going to. 
I uh, just thought I'd leave it there. And, um, you know, it's life, it's part of the job. And I, I feel really great that I was there, given the care I did for the gentleman. I'm just going around my granddad's now to see him. I'm going to get him some fish and chips. Hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, just driving past. Well, we're just vlogging on the street. Mum drives past, so just seeing my mum. Um, yeah, I'm going around my granddad's now. Um, I've got, I'm going to get him some fish and chips from. Um, but he, he's not from a chippy. It's like a microwave sort of meal. Going to get him that. Um, and then I've got a to-do list for tomorrow. I need to make because um, I've got a lot of jobs to do I need to do I've got to apply for my passport student finance and I've got so many jobs I need to do so it's coming a bit more overwhelming now so that's when I make a to-do list I love to-do lists so yeah go around my granddad's today's been a bit busy emotional stressful shift but it's a really good shift I love working in the care home and yeah hope you have a good day I'll check in later to see let you guys how I know let you guys know what I've done today Drop down in the comments what you guys have been doing today when you're watching this video. And yeah, I'll say later, keep smiling and keep following your dreams. So yeah, see you in a bit.